All right, so after a trying to play with shot cannons in other environments, I realized that the central problem is ammunition. So maybe it's possible to overcome the ammunition problem with more shot cannons. I kind of chuckled when uh, I had the idea because it seems like it's probably not going to work, but hey, the end results are going to be hilarious, so why the hell not? My fighter's out, and let's see. Here's our first customer. This is a Type 10 I already had built for something else, I just adapted it to this purpose. I was playing with turrets and turret builds in the Type 10 since its description basically begs you to try to use them, even though the weapon mechanics highly discourage it. That's a separate discussion. Um, let's see what we can do here. Where's that chaff cannon? There it is. hope was that the burst lasers would mitigate enemy shields, clearing the board for me to use my shot cannons to their fullest effect. I don't think that that's going to happen. Now a battle cruiser. Come on, you big whale. Flight assist off here. This isn't working any other way. Come on. Turn, you great beast! Module sub-targeting does not appear to be very effective, at least against external modules. I love this game's visuals. I mean, what else do you get to have? Well, I guess Star Wars Battlefront kind of did something like this, but... Well, actually, Elite could do it now, too, with the Odyssey update. That could work. Hard to tell if I'm actually hitting anything at this range. Well, I guess this guy is the only one who's close enough. The problem with the Type 10 is also its greatest strength. It's big and it's slow. I love the turrets. I think turrets are kind of an underappreciated mechanic in this game. And I wish that FDev would make them more would incentivize more of their use, at least on the largest ships. Oh, 
probably the best way to do that would be to make the turrets draw more power, not less. As it stands right now, turrets draw the least power and affect the distributor the least dramatically of any of the variants that you could potentially use. I think they should get rid of the damage debuff and make turrets more expensive than fixed weapons, because theoretically speaking, you have to invest more power and energy into a rotating mount than you would into a fixed weapon that's going to be simpler mechanically. Ooh. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I just fat fingered my shield cell banks. I meant to hit my heat sinks. Well, I didn't just screw myself. Shock cannons don't have very much integrity. So hot banking is a bad idea. His ammunition management is obviously a lot easier with a build like this. Bad news is, it's a Type 10, and it's kind of boring to fly, especially when you're obliged to turn so dramatically in order to keep Gimbal buttons on This was not a ship that was made for this type. I'm a little surprised that I can repeat it. It's not a ship that's known for its heat problems, and the shock cannons produce enough that if all four of them are going, it definitely starts to cook. these things, but it's effective. And I'm out of ammo on two cannons. Just ran. 
That's it. I got nine rounds left. It's not enough. So, final verdict on the shot cannons. They're fun, but there's just no way to use them in practical terms. No matter what you do, you just you're gonna be starved for ammo, and that's the single biggest detractor on them. Maybe I'm using them wrong. Maybe this isn't the way FDEV intended that they should be deployed. But man, it just kind of sucks because I, especially on fixed mounts with small ships, I love using a blast, but. They just don't work for uh, for some of the large scale encounters. You just don't have enough ammo to do anything. So, thanks for your time, guys. Uh, tune in for the next video.